Uh, my name is Travis Hyde. I work for Sessions Farms in Grand Bay, Alabama. And, and one of our biggest concerns with fire ants is the way that they're impacting our citrus uh, trees. They're getting in around the roots and just basically eating the roots and the fibers on the outside. And, and it's just, we lost 200 trees last year. And, uh, we have a bunch of neighbors uh, that's, that's losing a lot of citrus trees and all from, from stuff like that. People like to take and pile up the grass and leaves and all around their trees. It just basically makes a big fire in bed, and it, 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 it's just it's devastating to you, to you, to your trees and to your yard. Um, you know, you can't do anything outside certain times of the year if you have fire ants and you don't control those. You can't take your kids out. Um, you know, it, it's just especially when it's dry. And then, you know, they're looking to get towards water. So if you have a swimming pool, a slip and slide, uh, anything outside, the fire ants are just attracted to that water and they puddle up and, you know, they'll sit on top of the water and float down to get to another spot. And then they just, wherever they land is where they'll make another bed. And, and it's, it, it's pretty pretty difficult to deal with around here. Are you worried about fire ants for your children? Absolutely. Um, you know, you never know if your child's are really allergic to them until they actually get into them. And then, you know, you just worry about it being too late. And, you know, child scratching ant bites, you know, that's really not ideal to play in the backyard in the summertime. So what would you say to the Australian government, they're thinking about eradicating them, what would be your message? Do it if you can. Don't worry about the money, don't worry about the cost, because it will, it'll save you medical bills alone. But if you can deal with the problem, I'd deal with it immediately, as, as quick as I could.